Put me on the spot, why don't you? No mind the dirty house. All right, I need to bring it down a notch. I'm sorry. Take it down, baby. Take I'm sorry. it. Sorry, I'm just excited. Cause you know, <laughs> I got me a ninja foodie. Hey guys. What's up? <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to another episode of Big Dreams. Big, yes. Big Dreams. Don't look at my tooth. Cause it's still not fixed. I still haven't gotten it fixed. I'll probably get it fixed in March. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to be unwrapping and introducing our new toy that we just bought. It's called the Ninja Foodie. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Why are you so weird, bro? Why can't you just be normal for All right, us? let me be normal. Hey guys, so today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Ninja Foodie that we just bought. And we are super excited because we're gonna use it in this video. And yeah, the link is below if you wanna buy one. But uh, yeah, my daughter is trying to get my attention. Hi, hey, Avia. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Avia? I am with my mommy. Aww. Aww. So uh, you gonna help us cook or you just gonna be in the way? I want mommy. Oh my goodness. Big heads, big dreams. Oh, that was so cute. Here we go. Let me pop your neck. So, <laughs> last couple years, right, Intipot has well, taken over. Every single person you wants an Intipot. Well, I don't want to say every single person, but it's been very popular. It's like, uh, it's a pressure cooker, pretty much. That's all it is. Uh, pressure cooker for the 20th century. And you know that I am kind of a cheap, cheapo. So, I want an, I want an no, Intipot. you're very cheapo. A big cheapo. Here. No, we're going to I wanted an Intipot, and I wanted an air fryer. I'm like, man. But I don't want to spend all that money, so I scoured the internet and I found a two-in-one. It's called the Ninja Foodie Pressure Cooker. So we're going to be unboxing this uh, Ninja Foodie XL Pressure Cooker. There's different sizes. This is the eight quart. I needed the eight quart because I got five people in my family and I like to eat a lot. I don't know about them. Uh, let's see what comes in the box. Funny story though, story time. We bought one of these initially. We did, uh, from Sam's. And uh, my wife picked it out with my sister. And uh, it was no big deal, we bought it and uh, we tried to test it out and use it. And it wouldn't hold pressure. It would not hold any pressure. And uh, my wife noticed something. She's like, well, you know, maybe, maybe the uh, pressure cooker and Ninja Booty's not for us. There was tape on here. So I'm like, this has gotta be defective. I went back to Sam and I think this uh, product is defective. When looked at all the other new boxes, none of them had tape on the box. Someone had returned that one. And they, Sam's must have put it back out on display. Like, how long is that? So I told them, you do not need to put this one out on display because it, it, was, not, it was not functional. I was kind of upset. So this really is take two of our Ninja Foodie Pressure Cooker uh, experience. So let's see. Mmm, you just look at it, it looks delicious. And to be honest, to be 100% frank with you, if you are a family, like, I know this is not healthy. If you're a family that likes to, you know, uh, have chicken nuggets and fries, we have tried the air fryer part of this, and it is absolutely next level. If you put your, I'll show you, I'll show you. Give me a minute. I don't know. All right, so this is uh, the the Ninja Foodie unbox and everything. Uh, it's really, really unique. So you know the pressure cooker part here is it's got two lids. This is the pressure cooker lid. All it does I don't even know how to how to work it. Tell you the truth, it's a little different than the other one. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Put it on like that. Yeah, you put it, you put it on like this, and uh, lock it in. Boom. Yeah, here we go. That's when you, if if you want to press cook. But also the top part, it's the air fryer. What I was telling you about, and it comes with a little air frying basket. You put that in there. Put your chicken nuggets, put your French fries, uh, and air fry. I'm actually going to make a meal for the first time in uh, this new Ninja Foodie, uh, and I'll kind of walk you through the process. You need to marinate some uh, chicken thighs. You don't have to use chicken thighs, but I put like a cup of soy sauce, a cup of water, uh, a couple tablespoons of salt, ginger, garlic to taste, and I let it marinate for about 12 hours if you can. Put it in the fridge. What 
we're making is, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a, it's like an Asian Sorry, ginger rice. I didn't understand. Thanks. Like an Asian chicken thighs with ginger rice. It's just all be delicious. So pretty much, we're gonna press cook everything at the same time. I put two cups of uh, rice in the pot. You can do one cup if uh, one cup is enough. And the different thing about pressure cooking is that you know the normal combination for to make rice on the stove is one cup of rice, two cups of water. Well, since you're pressure cooking it, you do one cup of rice and one cup of water. So since I'm gonna have two cups, I'm gonna put two cups of water. But I'm also gonna put a little bit of ginger uh, inside of the rice. Ginger rice is absolutely phenomenal. What's gonna happen here is that the chicken's gonna be on top, fresh cooking, and all those good juicy juices and the fats are gonna drip down into the rice, making it delectable. Well, I think, so we'll see. Then I'm gonna put this uh, doohickey right on top of the rice. That's what the chicken's gonna set on. I know a lot of you German folks like, oh, you need to use gloves, you need to use gloves, man. You only live once. <laughs> you only die once too. But uh, it should be fine. Yeah, you just layer the chicken thighs, skin up on the rack over the rice. And you can see there's still garlic and ginger stuck to the chicken, maximum flavor. The only thing that I don't like about this, so we like leftovers. And the bad thing is you, you really can't fit more than five or six pieces of chicken, you know, for this recipe, which I guess is enough. But when my kids are older, this is only gonna be one meal, <laughs> you know? Try not to get too much of the juices, you know, into the chicken. You don't want soy sauce rice. So we're gonna put the pressure pressure uh, lid on there. We're gonna press cook this for about five minutes. We don't want to press cook it too long. And I know you're like five minutes to cook chicken thighs. Well, that's the magic of pressure cooking. It cooks things way fast. But that's not the only thing. We're also going to air fry the chicken. You know, so this is kind of like uh, the best meal you can make. A best example of a meal where you can use an air fryer and the pressure cooker at the same time to, you know, make a delicious meal. We'll see if it turns out or not. Daddy! Ava! I love you! Lock that in place. Make sure your vent is to seal. You go pressure. Make sure it's on high. Five minutes. Hit start, and you wait. So why is it doing that thing? So yeah, you know I put five minutes, yeah, this is not gonna be ready in five minutes. The pressure cooker obviously has to get the pressure. So it's gonna be cooking under pressure for five minutes. But the, the this pressure cooker probably will take maybe eight to 10 minutes to get the pressure before it actually starts cooking your food. So, I never claimed to be the smartest man in the world. I probably didn't add enough water to begin with to cook this meal. And since I didn't, it never came to pressure. It kept giving me the water error. So, we checked the chicken, chicken's done. And we had too much, uh, cause I added water afterwards and then it just wouldn't come to pressure. I had too much liquid in it. So, right now I'm sauteing and boiling the liquid down. Uh, but we're finally gonna get to the air frying portion. So as you can see, this chicken is not very brown. It's just pressure cooked chicken. And uh, I'm about to air fry it with this nice color. All right. All right, what's happening? So like I said, we boiled it down. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but now I'm going to uh, air fry it and hopefully uh, it turns out good. So I put a, I got a little sauce here. It's a little oil, soy sauce, and honey mix. And you're just going to mix it up and you're going to glaze your chicken lightly. Glaze it. Make sure you get it all on the skin. This has taken so much longer than I expected it. Well, you know. It's only been an hour. It's because I messed it. We messed it up. Who's we? You know. 
<laughs> you messed it up. What? Not we. I bought this air fryer for you, and you haven't uh, used it once. Yeah, but you're saying we messed it up. Who's cooking this meal? Fiona. I'm not cooking this meal. I'm filming this meal. Fiona. So anyway, what could have been 30 minutes turned into an hour. All right. A little air fry. So shut the lid. Okay, that's the air fry lid. Oh, so we'll do 15 minutes to start. And hopefully Ooh. it turns out good. Oh, I forgot to add my carrots. Ooh, you almost forgot. Let's add the carrots around wow. there. We'll see how they turn wow. out. The nice thing about the air fryer lid is that you can just check it. You know, it's not like the pressure. You just, if you want to look at it, you just lift it up and see. So we shall see how it turns out. All right, it's been air frying for well, seven minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That's the way to do it. It looks delicious. Hey, don't play around with it. How is it, babe? It's good. Good. 